mini face tool. Do we use it? Yes or no? And we have awoken, awakened. We're up. We're in a cave. We woke up, you know, with our gear, our traveling materials. And there was a note. And that note simply stated for dramatic effect. Long pause. <laughs> Thank you for your protection. Thank you for helping me in my time of need. Continue on with your journey. I will signal for you when it is time to return. Most importantly, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. And if it do, a party. No, I'm just kidding. That's Golden Girls. Um, but no, in, in all sincerity, you know, thank you for being a friend. Yes, that's in there. The rest of it's not. And in quotations, your queen. And that was that's the end of the note. So, we are going to continue on with our journey. Now, some of you may be wondering to yourself, how did we get here? What happened to what we saw last time? Some of that will be explained. But for right now, we're going to continue forward. Heard some guys talking about being bandits and stuff. Got a trip wire. Yep. Let's just be on the ready. Come what may. Ah, another worm. Got an archer somewhere. Just gotta be ready for it. I'm gonna just Get that out of the way. So we can proceed forward. Oh, you think so? If you want me to die, you should probably leave here alive. And off with your head. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Pick up a couple items. Check this place out. A torch barrel. Are there torches in it? There are. We have a lantern, so we don't necessarily need a torch. Some smugglers. All right, what are what are they smuggling here? Amethyst. Okay. Ooh, some smuggled goods. Some moon sugar. An Elysian sword. A Legion. Not very valuable. Cool looking nonetheless. A lot of Dwimmer goodies. Some more smuggled goods. Okay. An old checkpoint. Check the rest of the cave. Who made that noise? <laughs> through. <laughs> Run through. Get it like a fish. Takes me back to the very first time I beat Skyrim. Wielding the two hands. Two-handed weapons. Just keep looking around. Ceramic items, a knife, some boots. Ah, chest tucked away. 
fur helmet, okay. I'll take a few items. Right now, we're going back in, back into the mind of our dual wielder here. As you probably saw from the contextual menus of me picking up items, it said the name is unknown. Because we seem to be having some memory troubles. You know, obviously, according to our note, we help protect someone, be a friend, whatnot. They're gonna send for us from when the time is right. But we're not entirely sure who we are, how we got here, what what we did before all this. We just know we can fight. We'll proceed forward, a lot of stuff going on down there. Okay, we'll just come back. Pretty sure that I come over this. Yeah, that's where all the ceramic stuff was. All right, we'll go this way. Not just a pickaxe. We're good on that. Hmm. Like ruins inside a cave. Couple of goodies. They're going through there. Okay. Before we go down that way, let's see if there's anything back over this way first. Let's climb up, shall we? <laughs> True shot, no oh, thank you. Steel arrows, no thank you. Watch for the noise making. Goblin! Oof, we need to heal. Magic at the moment. Okay. There we go. A goblin shield. Take us to your goblin king. Some poison resist. Okay. Oh. heels. Alright. Notice a couple Imperial items. I mean, maybe this is uh, like an Imperial stronghold. It's been overrun. Potentially. Imperial Warhorn. Yeah, this must have been some kind of Imperial fort. Tattered tapestries torn asunder. <laughs> Nothing there. Second, I think we've made a loop. Okay. 
Yeah, because we... We were here. Alright. So there was... A direction back this way that... Multiple directions. That we, we did not go. So we came up here and looked at all that goodie. Goodies, I should say. All those goodies. We came down this way. Or we started to, and then we went back up that way. That's right. Alright, dear. Gotta be careful. Don't want to be carrying too much. But some hide would be nice. Uh, we'll leave the venison for now. Some salt piles that'll help us with the cooking. Okay. Some firewood. Ceramics. Ceramic, ceramic. Useful. That mint. That minty fresh. Okay. Oh. A warlord, eh? with us. Cheap wine. <laughs> Here we go. Stamina, health, burn book. Some more venison. Is that a coin? Yeah. For shroom? Blast them back. No thanks. A master, okay. All right, we might as well give it a shot. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, a little too much. Maybe go further left. Hmm. Can be a little tricky. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Alright, so that leads nowhere. There's a lot of potential goods in there. Okay, so I think this area is basically explored. The Serpent's Trail, according to our map. So it looks like... We should probably go check out the old checkpoint now, is what I'm thinking. So we'll proceed that way. We may have to remember to come back here. Maybe, maybe not. You know, right now we're not, we're not too concerned. With riches. You know, we just, even though we have our memory problems, we know our queen has given us a task and, you know, just to proceed onward. And we shall do so. I'm sure all will be explained. Make sure I'm. What could that be? Oh. Careful. So I say our stamina was a little slow on that regeneration there, but that's okay. So a different area that we have not yet 
Lots of paths, lots of winding, winding paths. Coffins. Thistle? Okay. We'll hit our shrine of RK. Oh, now we're now we're a little over encumbered oobly. Oobly. Even though we're we're got a two handed it, that that sword is there. We have a one handed sword, you know, is it just in case. Right, let's find. Um Just one of our ingots. Oof, lots of lots of valuables in there. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, we'll loop back around to here. So we'll go this way. All right, some potential that way. We'll check the side path first. Oh, another big mistake. Oh. Okay. We'll search his head. <laughs> Ooh, soups. Yes, please. What you got? Okay. Keep moving on. Soups are good, though. Recharge your stamina and health. Like the bite of a Somebody else. What's that? Yes, get some more smuggled goods. Control rod. Interesting. Dishes, pans. Cure poison. Eh. Choke on bread. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Just basically like ho opened up a whole new area just by that one little turn. Aha, uh -huh, I see ya. Maybe some more deposit. Right. Oh, careful. Easy. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Lock picking, not really our specialty. Boosh, but we, you know, might as well. Hm, interesting. If that was a spell, it'd be better, but it's all right. We could smell some outdoors. Looks like it might be opening up. Maybe close to an exit. Yeah, to Cyrodiil. Here we go. All right, made it out. Welcome to Cyrodiil. Yes, and we are going to visit Bruma. <laughs> Here's something going on. Let's see if we can help. A 
cutter. Oh, oh, careful now. Careful. Good night. Two, a chop. Gets up. Okay. Looks like these guys may have attacked. This little wagon. Heavy armor up, thank you. All right. Well, let's consult our map. All right, there's Bruma, just south. So we'll just make our way this direction. Let's see if anything just catch our mind, you know? Skyrim, you pretty? Or excuse me, Cyrodiil, you pretty? <laughs> Follow the road. <laughs> Sentinel. Not too, we're not too familiar with Sentinels, but at least we got you know, place of interest. That way we can, you know, if we get lost, find our way. Couple of branching paths. Let's see if we can spot anything off the ridge here. Spotted something over this way. I think where we need to go this direction, let's make sure. No? Ah, that might be it. I th off in the distance. See, see some towers. Careful now. We mean you no harm, Panda Bear. magic to do that. Okay. Heal up. For what we can. Pelt's a little heavy. Just make sure. Move 20% slower. Okay. We may have a cure disease potion. Yep. Or poison. Excuse me. Did I pass it? Let me 
Let's look. Yeah, okay. We don't have one. I thought we would. That's okay. We'll just move a little slower. Sure, we once we, you know, get into the town, the city, we may be able to, you know, find a shrine, help cure diseases, apothecary, maybe something along those lines. Greetings, friend. I'm not sure if you were aware, but this is a royalty-only byway, and since you don't look like royalty. You have to pay the toll. Well, I'm not giving you anything. We'll see if you put up this much of a fight when you're lying dead on the ground, eh? Ah, another worm. Oh. It was just a vision. <laughs> I believe about here is where we left off. From our vision. <laughs> Keep moving on. Possible camp ahead of us. Don't wanna. Yeah, we're like right outside the the gates. It's like right there. Okay, we'll just uh, carefully make our way down. Frozen pond or. River, stream, possibly. Let's see. Wait! Don't attack. I'm not a bandit. At least, not anymore. I'm not a bandit anymore. I've left that life behind me. But damn if the shadows of the past won't cling to me like an addled ogre. Um, what's the problem? There's a group of cutters after me. They're not pleased that I defected and know their secrets. If I go to Bruma, they'll find me. If I go elsewhere in Cyrodiil, they'll find me. They'll probably find me here too, but it's my best chance. Okay. Any way I could help? Maybe. But it won't be easy. They've sent wretching Cornelius and his lackeys after me. Probably searching the wilderness as we speak. If you want to help me, the only way is to take out Cornelius. All right, any, any reward for this? You'd drive me out of house and home, wouldn't you? Good thing I have neither to lose. Yeah, I do have a little coin from my runs with the cutters. It's yours if you put a blade through that old bastard. All right, well, once we kind of get our bearings and figure out what's going on, we, we'll do it. Well, it's your funeral. Be warned. Cornelius, when he goes after people, Tends to travel with hunting dogs and cutter accomplices. He'll put up a fight. I'll head to Bruma. If you manage to end Cornelius without being dismembered, return to me there, and I'll give you a reward. Bye. Okay. Run! Run! Not sure what she's running from exactly. Oh, that's way out there. Okay, yeah. We might as well just hit up Bruma first. As you were. So we're getting close. Getting getting very close. This must be the place. Let's see if we can find ourselves, you know, a gate, an entrance, something like this. All right. Let's take it in. See if we can maybe find some some lodgings. You know, kick our feet up for the evening. Ah, 
Upper class house. Draw view in. Well, let's go in. <laughs> the end. A diverse and wide Let's range of supplies and sundries, all under one roof. Nice to meet you. Love. Yes, Orc. Just looking for a room. You're distressing the customers. Distressing? I am distressing the customers! That's what I just said, yes. You are... You, you dare! How dare you! I am outraged! You hired me to play songs in this bar that is so far below my standards, and now you proclaim my music as distressful? I'm done with you, standards, and I'm done with this shoddy excuse for a tavern. I'm off for the restful watchman, your top competition. How about that, huh? And you, you talentless, tasteless fiends! How dare you insult my music? Could you do better? No, you couldn't. Because I was trained at the Bots College in Solitude, and I'm the foremost practitioner of the art of song since Faulkner himself. You are nothing more than jealous maggots, grasping your ways to insult me and belittle my talent. And to that, I say, good day. You lose. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Now can we talk, or do I have to go to your competition as well? Welcome to the Gerald View. Here we go. What can I get you? Well, let's just start by resting. We've had an interesting day. Making our way through the Serpent's Pass down here to Bruma. You know, our memory hazy. We got a note. It just says we gotta wait, you know, there's all of that that's going on. So we just want to kick our feet up and get a little rest. Ah, you did well to choose the Gerald View. Your room rental also includes complimentary access to the Gerald View bathhouse on the lower floor. Well. Peruse it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. Well. Room's just this way. Please, follow me. Well, this is more like it, a bathhouse? Okay. Definitely. Is this my room? You're putting me in a basement? Oh. This doesn't seem like a normal basement. Okay. Let me know if there's Cozy. anything else you need. Thank you. And he left. Good for him. Alright. Black Horse Courier. Traveler's Guide to Bruma. A pamphlet. Okay, so we got some items, you know. A little desk we can read at, or, and write at. Some tapestries. Wardrobe. What do, what do we got in here? Oh, just some clothes. Okay. All right. Before we do this, let's see if we can find this, uh... Wine. Hello. Okay. See you. Guess we'll just have to locate it ourselves. Little library. Ah. Alright, bathhouse. Here we go. Ah, yes. Nice and steamy. Ah, another patron of this fine bathhouse. Please, come in, come in. The water's fine. Excellent, even. 
Name is Bathes in Murky Waters. <laughs> okay. Who in oblivion told that guy he's a good singer? The day trots do better. I think we can have ourselves a little seat. Get ourselves Delighted some relaxation. No. Would be a true shame should they be sullied. Okay. Do you need something? No. I'm good. Thanks. Just trying to Hello? sit here and enjoy myself. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna head up to our or over to our room. Get a little rest.